you have a great life in front of you, but your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But what God got for you, do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? If you want to win and you want to guarantee success and you want to guarantee that you are going to get where you want to get, because that's what everybody wants. Everybody wants the guarantee. That's why they ask so many questions. You know, they say, how long is it going to take? What's this? What's that? And they analyze all these different things and they try to come up with this college auditorium sized blackboard full of formulas and, and graphs and all these things that are going to make us more successful. They're going to make us more money. They're going to get us the respect that we're looking for, the recognition that we look for. They're going to help us build the lives that we want. We try to plan all of these things out. The problem is for most people as they come to a point where they are overwhelmed by the information. And every once in a while, you've just got a bottom line shit. And you've got to say, what's the fucking bottom line here? And the bottom line for you and the bottom line for me, if you want to be great, if you want to get the recognition, if you want all of the things that you dream about, there is only one way to guarantee that you will have those things. Only one. And that is becoming so fucking good at what you do, no matter what it is you do, that it is undeniable that other people recognize how great you are. And the great thing about this concept is not limited to having to do something that everybody thinks is worthy. Becoming undeniable is not something that sticks with you in a certain role. It's a character trait that you fucking develop. That means any place that you are put, you will put in the work, you will learn the skills, you will improve your arsenal to become the undeniable best in that role. And there's nothing that can stop you. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't matter what race you are, what gender you are. Do we can make every excuse in the book. But I promise you, for every excuse you can make, there are literally thousands of people who had it harder than you that have done what the fuck you want to do. Put the time in to learn the skills. Put the skills into practice and make a commitment to becoming so good that all your peers say, that's the fucker that's the best. You cannot lose perspective of where you've come in life. You have to turn the negative into a positive. If you can sit back and wait, if you can wait six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 years, when you get to that point, when you finish, that's the feeling for 12 years. It says, it says they wait 12 years to get there. That's what keeps you going is you got to feel, I want, I'm doing it for one second. The journey getting there was harder than going through it. So that's the whole thing about life, man. It's, it's, it's that journey that, that makes you who you are. When you start to dive back in the cellar of your mind and you're pulling out all these, all these tactics, when you're in the worst shape of your life and no one's coming to save you and you get through that. It's time for everybody to get civilized because you lose the hunger for life. There's going to be some disappointments along the way every day. That's life. But if you face disappointments already in victory, so you open the door and now life hits you and you're already frustrated. You're already in that anxiety mode. You're stressed already. And then life starts to pile more on top of you. You get home, you're exhausted. And that's how life happens to everyone. In the race of life, life's not going to give you a glass of water when you're thirsty. If you live in a depressive life, you're going to feel depressed. If you lived my life, you wouldn't feel depressed. Now you're either going to sit up, get up and do it. Or you're going to sit there and stay depressed. And that's why these people are so desperate to defend the idea that depression can't be solved. When you tell the world that depression can't be solved, what you're doing is absolving yourself from all responsibility. I no longer have to stand up and work hard and try and be something because it doesn't matter how hard I work because I'll be depressed anyway. They know that's a lie. Mm -hmm. They're just trying to fake. They're, they're being ignorant on purpose to avoid the doing the hard work. That's all it really is. When you're heartbroken, you true, when you're truly heartbroken, you can't even sleep and your mind is constantly preoccupied. And instead of seeing that as a negative, what you need to do is use that as a source of unlimited power. If I was truly heartbroken today, let's imagine, and I could barely sleep, I'd be in better shape than I've ever been.
You have to just take the energy inside of you. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted, mm -hmm. whether it's heat into light, momentum into friction or whatever, whatever you, however you want to put it, right? Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. And you have to look at that and understand that the sadness inside of you is energy. You can't destroy it, but you can convert it into something else, which is constructive. Do you deserve to be happy? Genuinely, every single person watching this, go look in the mirror. Do you deserve to be happy? Look yourself in the eye. The answer is probably not. You don't deserve it. Yeah. When you're hungry, but your body telling you you need to eat some food, that's fine. You react to that. When you're depressed, your body's telling you you need to change your life. And if you're feeling that for long periods of time and then not changing your life, well, you don't deserve to be happy. You don't deserve it. Everything in life that is valuable must be earned. Peace of mind must be earned. Happiness must be earned. I'm happy because I earn it. I get to be top G. Of course, I'm fucking happy. I'm me. When I look at the lives of people who tell me they're depressed, I look at them and think, you know what? If I was you, I'd be fucking depressed. Facts. You have to take some personal responsibility for it. And what they'll do is they'll try and outsource it. Well, I had a bad star or this happened to me. That happened to me. World ain't fair. I could sit here and be an unsuccessful piece of shit. And I got 10 stories to tell you why I have excuses to do exactly that. And here I am top G. So that's life. That's life. You have to get shit done. You have two choices as a man. You either realize the truth about reality and understand how the matrix is suppressing you and affecting your mind. Mm -hmm. You either wake up and you are now in battle against the matrix itself, or you accept the programming. When you accept the programming, the battle doesn't end because you're, now you're in a battle against your own mind. If you believe the shit they want, that they want you to believe, you're unhappy, you're depressed, you're miserable. So you're either fighting against yourself inside of your own mind, living in some semi-depressed state, sitting on the internet and talking complete bullshit in these liberal hate mobs, or you understand the truth about what's happening and you're in the war against the matrix. You can't escape this fight. You're gonna have to fight. To all the men watching this, you are gonna fight somebody at some point, either the matrix or your self, choose. I refuse to turn on myself. Me and every single, sing every single thing inside of me is on the same team. And when the enemy appears, then it's on. If it's on, it's on, that's the game. The emperors of today want the same thing. They want eunuchs. They want you to go to work and they want you to pay your taxes, but they don't want you to think for yourself or have any balls or have any true ambition or open your mind or resist slave mind programming. They don't want any of that. They want you to just sit there like a eunuch and you have to decide, mm -hmm. am I gonna chop my balls off or am I not? That's a decision every single individual needs to make. And I decided absolutely not really not to. And I do, and I know that I could disappear and just down a hole of hedonism. I could disappear into a black hole of degeneracy and not even fight this war. A lot of people don't understand that I don't need to be doing the shit I'm doing. I have a very, very good life and I'm taking genuine risks to do it. But I also understand that my unique positioning means that it would be disingenuous for me as an individual of honor and integrity to not stand up and fight when I know that I'm in a position to fight when most people can't. And the only alternative at my level of life is endless hedonism. That's the only alternative. And I think a lot of people, especially before they're successful, like the idea of an endless hedonistic life. And let me explain something to the world. Certain things are black hole. Money is a black hole to a degree. You Numbers go forever. If you're gonna say, I need money to be happy, it goes up forever. You're gonna need a new number every day. You're never gonna be happy. Certain things are just black holes and it's just so much energy and time will go into that black hole and it feels utterly and utterly wasted. You need a higher purpose and a higher vision. And my purpose is to wake people up and make them feel good about themselves.